Hello, I'm Dr. Cliff James with HelpMommy.com, and welcome to us filming on location in the beautiful Grand Cayman Island on my vacation. We're going to be talking about something that happened personally to my family and I. It's called Sea Bather's Rash, or Sea Bather's Eruption. What is that, you might ask? Well, it's a terrible little burning, itching rash that happens after you're exposed to what are called sea lice. Are these lice? No, it's actually a misnomer. These are the larvae from a jellyfish known as the thimble jellyfish. And unfortunately, when they're in the water, you can't see them, but you can feel them. What occurs is as you're going through them, you'll feel this burning, poking sensation. And if you feel that, you need to get out of the water as fast as possible. Then bathe yourself in seawater, followed rapidly by you stripping down from all your swimsuits and bathing in soap and water. What's going to happen next is you're going to develop this erythematous rash that itches and burns is very bumpy. What they recommend that you can do after that is to put some hydrocortisone on the rash and then you can take some oral Benadryl or Zyrtec to help with the itching. It's highly recommended that you don't scratch at this as you can cause a secondary infection, which doesn't have anything to do with the initial stings. The infection would actually come from your fingernails. Now, where is this going to occur? This is commonly found in the Gulf. So in the United States, if you're vacationing along the Gulf Shores or along the Gulf Coast of Mexico or the Caribbean Islands, it's usually found in high concentrations during the spring and early summer. And they say that if you do happen to get through this, it doesn't mean that you don't go in that water again. It commonly occurs when you're wading or snorkeling. And just remember that by the next day, it should be safe in that area again. Be sure when you have little children that if they start crying with this, get them out of the water as soon as possible. Take off their swimsuits because the larva can get trapped against their skin, especially with little bikinis for little girls or the swimsuits for boys, as well as any flippers that they might have or swim shoes. So make sure to get everything off their skin, bathe them thoroughly, and then take care of their symptoms as it happens. They commonly call this one of the normal sensations that people just have to put up with if they're snorkeling. But if it happens to your family, it can be something that's irritating. So hopefully this little tip helps you if you happen to get into a batch of sea lice.